Well, I think the way the game started in the first half, he knew it was going to be a hard, a hard game. Could we win a hard game? Open looks, but we didn't make them, and they keep coming at us. And and um, I'm, I'm really glad that we, even though it wasn't pretty, we figured out a way to win like a hard game. And we've come a long way with our mental toughness. We'll start with uh, Tom Noy. Mike, what does it say about this team? The last time you were on a grinder like this, it was here against Virginia Tech, and you couldn't you couldn't score, you couldn't get in rhythm. It wasn't pretty tonight, but you're still able to, to kind of grind your way through it. Some growth, Tom, since then, and, and I thought that group that uh, that group that finished the game for us really defended. And we said at the you know one of the timeouts there, we, you know, with four or five minutes, like I could care less what happens on offense. Can we defend to win the game? See if we can you know, really guard. And I, and I thought we did. Um, certainly Nick was, Nick Jogo was just fabulous. And he just senses, not only today, but all year, he just senses, what does my team need? And all of a sudden we needed more and he did more. Um, then we had him on Wong the last couple possessions too. And he did a great job there, but not surprised. The guy has been just fabulous in, our, in, in his role. When he doesn't get playing time, maybe the last couple of years, was there ever a thought that that maybe it wasn't ever going to happen for him here? Yes. I mean, I think uh, I was wondering if we'd ever get there. Uh, I really did. You know, we we redshirted him, so we thought we had a future. And, um, you know, and, 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 yeah, there was no question as a staff. We're thinking, well, you know, maybe it's just not going to happen. But one of the things that was really telling when we got back to campus was, he knew as a fifth-year senior, he, he knew he had to lead and be a voice. And, and I've really been so pleased with how he's led and talked to guys and reinforced our culture when the coaches aren't around. And then it's carried over to do a little bit of whatever we need him to do. Thanks, Mike. All right, we'll go to Tim Priester. Mike. You overcame a lot. I mean, early, early fall trouble with your two big guys. You have the injury. It doesn't look like um, Cormac Bryant's going to come back, and then your three-point shooting was off as well. You overcame an awful lot. Here. Well, it was, a, it was kind of a you know it was kind of a weird night. We've got foul trouble with two big guys, and Cormac goes down. And the way he went down, I thought, well, that's going to be two weeks. But you know, he <laughs> played through it. He came back, um, had some great looks, like he had at Duke that didn't go in. Um, and then I thought Nate Lashevsky really handled it like a man. He was poised. He hung in there. And then his little scoring spurt gave us enough room to probably escape with the win. But he didn't force anything. He kind of let it come to him. Go to Patrick Engel. Mike, going off of your uh, kind of previous explanation of, of Nick there, when you have a guy whose most of his games are – in that kind of setting where you're wondering if it's going to get there. What do you think allowed him and about him to develop confidence despite all that? Well, he's always been a believer in our culture and he's also, you know, done whatever role we've tried to, to give him. And there've been flashes. There's no question about it. I think the injury bug bit him at times. Every time we thought maybe we would get a little more out of him, something physically, you know, knocked him back. And you know what? We weren't as good as we could have been in December because he was he got hurt in a Michigan State game. You know, we, we were kind of scrambling there, getting him back from that ankle. And um, But, you know, now he does a little bit of everything. And, and, again, it starts with his leadership. Go to John Bryce. Mike, I think they started the game 10 for 18 from the field and then finished the rest of the game 12 for 50. Uh, defensively, what, what did you see uh, once you guys buckled down? And then also on the boards to, to win the rebounding, did you sense that kind of toughness coming in this game? Well, I mean, we, <clears throat> we, were, a lot, you know, we were better the last 35 minutes. The first five minutes, we couldn't get our hands on the ball uh, on, the, on the backboard. And once we kept it the one and done, we were, you know, we, we were in a better rhythm. And then we got down the floor and got at least a couple easy buckets. Um, but, um, you know, the lineup that finished the game, you know, when Nick is in there as a second big guy and we can kind of switch stuff, 
and and rotate that that really has helped us and it and it saved our backsides today go back to patrick engel mike what does nick give you on defense as far as being able to trust him to put on long there like he did late in the game and play a little bit at the five early on when uh, nate and juan were in foul trouble what kind of versatility and yeah, does he give you there? Well, he's 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 amazing in that he can guard a center, which he did tonight for a while, and then he guarded the point guard <laughs> the last couple possessions. That's tell you how you know valuable he is on the defensive end. Now he can guard a guy one on one in the post, or he can guard a guard and stay in front of him. And then he's an amazing help defender. He's a great rotate help unselfish defender. Um, and, and so you know, it's a guy who's played a lot of basketball. And has been in our culture a long time and, you know, kind of puts himself in the right position because of experience. Final question for Coach. We'll go to Tom Noy. Mike, you've talked, and we've talked a lot about the rhythm of a schedule. Uh, this week, this will be the first time you get back to back league home games all season. How, how big of a challenge has that been for you guys? It has been a little tricky. Um, you know, I, I give our guys credit. They've, rolled with the punches when we've had cancelizations and gaps and everything. And, um, and I just told them, you know, we've got an opportunity, uh, you know, with a, with a team in Clemson that has an NSA tournament resume. Um, and you have a chance to get the thing, you, you have a chance to get your record to seven and seven. You know, we didn't get to 500 in the league till senior day last year, uh, digging out of a hole. And, and so maybe we're a little ahead of the game <laughs> this year. Thank you very much. Thank Coach. you. Appreciate it.